Hey Explorers, in the last mission we delivered content from our Strapi API to our Nuxt application and built out our Lyric blog. In this mission, we'll look at deploying our site to Netlify. Before we can do that, we need to make sure that our application can read data from Strapi, which means Strapi has to be accessible via the internet. Throughout our mission, We've been working with Strapi locally to make sure that our application when deployed to Netlify can read data from Strapi. We have to deploy it to a production environment and Strapi being self-hosted means we have to deploy it to a service like Heroku, DigitalOcean, or Microsoft Azure to mention a few. We use something called ngrock or ngrock to create a tunnel from our local host to an address on the internet so our application can pull data on build time when deployed to Netlify. To do this, we'll go into our API folder where our Strapi application is and start our server with Yarn Develop. Once our server is running on localhost 1337, we'll open up another terminal and change directories into our API folder again so we can run a tunnel using ngrock with the command ngrock http 1337. So we expose port 1337 where our Strapi application is running and create a tunnel to a URL that will be given after we run the command. Click enter and run the command and we get a URL that we can add to Netlify when we deploy. We'll change directories into our front end folder and we'll use git commands. We we'll use git add to stage our files and then run git commit, commit our files with the message deployment mission. Then we'll use git branch minus m main to create a main branch for our git project and then add a remote pointing to our git repository hosted on GitHub. And finally, we'll push our logo changes so we can use and deploy our site on Netlify. And then we can use git push u origin main to push our local changes to GitHub and then deploy our site from our Git repository onto Netlify. Oops, git push. Great. When we check our GitHub repository, Jamstack Explorer's front end, we see all our local files here. And now that we have our application on Git, we can go to Netlify on app.netlify.com slash start. We'll select GitHub, it will authenticate us, and then we can choose our repository. Type in the name of your repository. In my case, that is Jamstack Explorer's front end. We'll choose a branch to deploy from. Our branch is the main branch. Our build command, because we're building a static site, will be yarn generate, and this will be published into our dist directory, and we want to add a variable for our Strapi backend. We'll define a variable called backend URL, which points to our Strapi URL. Now, this depends on whether you're using a service like ngrock, like we are in this mission, or you have deployed your application to another service like Heroku and have your own domain. Whichever option you go for, you have to paste the value of your backend URL here. We'll get ours from ngrock and click deploy site. Once our building is done, we get a message saying our site has been published. When you scroll to the top, you get a URL. Ours is epic villani 468503netlifyapp we'll Click on that. And now we have our static blog deployed on Netlify. Let's add some bonus content to this mission. We'll use Strapi webhooks to trigger builds on Netlify to update our page whenever we add content into Strapi. To do that, let's start off in our Strapi admin. We'll log back into our Strapi admin and in our settings section, we'll go to webhooks. We'll click add new webhook. We'll give this webhook a name of Netlify build webhook and we need to get a URL for the webhook from our Netlify panel. So back to Netlify, if you go to site settings, under build and deploy, you see a section that says build hooks. Click add build hook and we'll name this strappy content update. We'll push and build from the main branch and save this. We get back a URL. We'll copy this URL and paste it 
in our Strapi admin and we need to define an event that will trigger this webhook. So whenever we create an entry, whenever we update, delete, publish or unpublish an entry, we want the webhook to be triggered. We'll save this and it says webhook created. Now to actually test this out, we'll go to articles and we'll add a new entry. We'll create an entry titled final form and give this a date of 15th February. Description of a song by Sampa the Great and paste in a body. As usual, our slug has been auto-generated. We'll save this content and publish it, which should trigger our webhook. We'll go to our Netlify admin and look at our deploys. You see a new deploy that says deploy triggered by hook strappy content update. That means our application is rebuilding to reflect the changes we just made in Strapi. We'll wait for our build to finish. Once our build is finished, our site is published. And when we check our lyric blog, we see Final Form, a song by Sampa the Great, appearing on our webpage. We can click that and look at the lyrics. We can go back. And that is it with this Mission Explorers. It's been an honor training you. And I'm sure the galaxy is ready for all the creativity you will unleash with your newfound knowledge of Strappy and Next.js. Until the next time, it's your commander, Daniel, signing out.